awesome. <laughs> You're a colony now residence. Can I talk to you? Hi there, Shulk. What got you up and about so late? Did you find some interesting junk? Don't call it junk. I'm a collector. I'm an I'm an engineer, man. I I cre I use my I use this junk to create. It's my it's my stuff. Don't insult the stuff. Okay. This is like a massive place. <laughs> I really want to keep exploration and things. Why do I level up? <laughs> you get experience for like discovering things? That's awesome! Why don't other games do that? It encourages you to like look around and discover things and there's loads of boxes here. Um, and like two dimensional fruit. Landmark. Ether light. I don't know what that means. Hey Shulk. Hello, talk to me please. We homes have to sleep every night. But the mech on are different. It doesn't matter to them whether it's day or night. So they have like robot things. We've got to be careful. Attack can come at any time. Okay, so they're like robot things. And they're rampaging the world. And I guess it's a time of war and stuff. But this area really looks really peaceful. So that's okay. Curry that Giorgio make is best curry of all. Friends have tried it too. Eh? You're not you're not English good, are you? You're what are you? You you're like a I don't even know. You're a blob. <laughs> That's really the only way I can describe you. You're a blob. Etherlight. Why does it keep saying landmark etherlight? Unless, oh, is this the etherlight? Oh, this must be the etherlight. Or something like that. It doesn't seem to do much. Okay. There's a quest apparently here. You, give me a quest. Give me something to do. I want to make some kid sized armor for my son. Okay. Problem is, I don't have enough small scales. Right. I need to get some small scales. I shall certainly do that. Collect one small scale. In Colony 9. Resident doesn't have... Okay. Are you going to tell me where I can get one from? Or is that going to just be my... You can get small scales by defeating Piranaxes. Piranaxes sound a bit like... Fish types. Because it's like Piranha, you know. Material Quest 2. So... Are these like... Okay, this is like... This is my quest log. So that's okay. Just Colony 9 quests? Okay. So that's that's not like a list of all the quests in Colony 9. Although I would quite like a list of all the quests in Colony 9, just so I know if I've picked them up or not. The nope aren't just cute, they have good business acumen too. And they show up in the most unexpected places. Oh yeah, there's no one on Bionis that you won't find Nop on. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm guessing it's some kind of like travelling merchant race thing? Since they talked about good business acumen, I'm assuming it's just like shops that you can find in different places. There's apparently a quest here. According to my source, my source being on the roof. Is that, on, is that quest on the roof or something? Because I don't see it anywhere near here. Let's try and go to the roof. I really hope there is a path up to the roof. Can I just jump on though? You can jump really far, but you can't jump really high. Yeah, you can't jump really high. Um, back alleys. You're a gem man. Hello there, young and I got something that might interest you. Rather, something to tell you about this here furnace. When creatures die, they leave ether crystals behind. Everyone knows that, don't they? Well, I have one actually. If particles too complicated, well, cre creatures drop. Crystals when they die. Crystals can be turned into gem, I assume. Yeah, compressor, yeah, you make ether gems. What, no reaction? Um, the powers of ether crystals are highly condensed. Ether gems can give you all sorts of powers. They're great for use in the home. Alright, so you can put them in the weapon slots. Yes, yeah, I've already I've already established this. It's probably quicker for you to try it. Put gems in your weapon slots, the weapon of yours will do fine. Hey, he's giving me some free gems. I'm, I'm sorry I was like telling you to shut up. I'm, I really am. I, I'm happy that you gave me some free stuff. So we got gems. We can put them in our stores. Let's actually do this. Ah, uh, if I can find the 
menu and go to I believe it's items or possibly party I think party because I've got Prince Shulk and I see yes empty slot so I can put my HP up or my strength up or both which I think I will do both actually I sure hope I have this weapon for a long time and like uh, so I've got that in and I want to also put that in okay so that's awesome I should uh, like I hope I can take gems out of things because I don't want to like replace this sword straight away and then lose the gems I just got because oh no multiple levels I hate one thing I hate in RPGs like this towns with multiple levels because you just don't know you have a quest Desiree there you are, I've been looking everywhere for you. I've broken my watch. Oh, you've broken your watch? No. Okay. Which way of fixing it for me? Okay, I can do that. You don't have to be good with machines to be careful with them. You just have to be careful. Wasn't your first. So his. So her father was good at weapons, and she's broken her watch. That's all I really need to know about that. Uh, he's being rude. It's been a year since her father died. Do, do is she going to be a character that's going to go appear more than once? Because if so, I might actually want to remember some of this. <laughs> anyway, I need to fix her watch. Mend the watch in short lab. That shouldn't be too hard. I seem to be a pretty decent engineer. So let's take that. I can view relationships. So. Oh dear, it does have some kind of Western RPG quality to it. Okay. <laughs> Talking to named residents of the area or town will register them the affinity chart, which shows the relationship between party members and the thingy. Let's check the affinity chart. That's party members. Didn't mean to go into party members. She is not a party member. Fortunately. <laughs> check affinity. So this is all about trying to get with the ladies. Okay. Colony 9 area. For the two of them are they don't they don't seem to like each other very much, I'll be honest. Uh Colony 9 area. Oh, okay, so that's so th I'm I'm one star in Colony 9. So it's not individual people, it's actually places that uh and that's party members. Okay. Okay, I can live with that, I can live with that, that's fine. Um, so I don't care about the actual people. So doing quests for a place, I imagine will probably make them like me more, and that's that's going to be my goal for a little while. What's this for you? Are you, a, are you a no good English guy? Nighttime is very quiet. It's my it it my favorite time of day. When it daytime, kids are loud and noisy. They annoy me loads, so I like nighttime best. Wow, you were a useful NPC. Like seriously. Uh, this is the ether light again? Yes, it is. Okay, I found my way back to the ether light. <laughs> We're probably gonna have like 10 episodes of me just wandering around this place. Haven't I been here? I think I have. Oh, this is Dunman's house. Uh, oh, hey, I think. Wedding ring! Cool! I don't know what that was. I'm actually going to go back to my collectopedia and see if that was one of the things on my list because it was red and that's weird uh, apparently it doesn't go in the collectopedia let's actually see if I can figure that out because it should be no it's not in there I guess it was a key item oh it's a key item wedding ring rings a total of eternal love token of eternal love so hopefully we will find some villager that is looking for a wedding ring and then I can give him the wedding ring. Huh. Get your lovely fresh. Wow. The text the text kind of jumps all over the screen a bit. There's a bit of visual overstimulation here, but never mind. We'll figure that out. People around here are blinded by a false sense of tranquility. Okay, so you don't you think that people should be terrified of such stuff? 
That's fine. I can live with that. You. What do you think? There's an old woman who hangs around here every morning. She keeps ranting about the same thing. Are we? Is it actually going to be a thing where different NPCs appear at different times of the day? Uh, I hope I didn't get stuck. Okay, I didn't. I didn't get stuck. <laughs> There's a load of suspicious types huddled up in here. No idea what they're talking about, but I want nothing to do with it. I want to get in. I want to get in on suspicious types. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I want to do. What's that blue dot on the map? Blue dotted. When is it going to happen? I'm just going to stand next to them. Hopefully they'll keep talking. Well, when is it going to happen? Come on, when is it going to happen? Hello. I bet Giorgio would be a good fit. His curry so popular, I bet he's raking it in. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you know a woman called Betty? As Homs go, she's very pretty. She lives in... Okay, so Homs are kind of... Human type. I guess Homs are the humans, actually. And then there's the Mechons that are the robots that are evil. And there's these little blue things that I have no idea what are. Why am I still even still with this one? Maybe next time I'll choose a man. You bitch! Like, seriously, just... What a bitch. <laughs> um, is this where I came from? No, it's not. So this goes somewhere new. If I explored everywhere, I'm going to check my map. I would like to see... Ah, oh, okay, so... That was where I started from. Can I swim round up there? Because I want to know what these up mark arrows are on the map. That's where I died horribly. <laughs> uh, I've not been to the residential district. I've just explored around here so far. Uh, I'm supposed to be going somewhere. I have like a weapon place, aren't I? I'm supposed to be going to... Oh, sell stuff, that's it. Military district just up ahead, it just pollen orbs. Okay. Ugh. Landmark, Central Plaza. Is there anyone in the Central Plaza? Yes, there is. They have good sleep at night, but they're snoring so loud. My sleep not good. What are these? They're kind of transport things? Pack, pack Armu. You are Armus. Okay. You look kind of, um... Uh, bored and alone. What do you want? I've lost something really important. My wedding ring. Oh! -ho! I was looking for you. It's so small I've looked all over but I can't find anywhere. Can you help me out? Well, actually, yes I can. I really don't want my wife to have a go at me. I'm counting on you. Okay. Actually, yes I can. I need to be even stronger. I need to be even stronger. Okay. What's these affinity coins for? And what's this? That's an update to the quest log. So I've done that. Found and completed. And uh, does that mean I've like already turned it in? Have I already talked to him? Hello. Yes. Do you know about affinity? It represents connections between people. Friendship and trust. Doesn't look like you have many connections with people. That's like I've just arrived here. Gee, actually. No, I think I've lived here all my life. Well, that's depressing. You'll build up affinity by talking to people. Right. So this game is teaching us to be sociable and talk to strangers. Heck yeah! What are you? Arts learn naturally, learnt naturally. Get stronger to get more arts. More experience also gets you more arts. Hello. I can't talk to this guy. Maybe? Yes I can. They're all just like resident. None of them have names. Desiree's the only one I've talked to so far that actually had a name. Uh, now the flag's telling me to go that way, which is why I'm going to go this way instead. That's how my mind works. I don't like following the path. I like exploring everywhere before following the path. <laughs> and that usually messes me up because I get killed by things way too powerful, like I just did. Sorry for causing all this trouble. It'll be up and running as soon as we secure some ether cylinders. So then, please keep your distance. What the heck is with it? It's a mechon thing. Okay. Can I steal any parts from it? I'm an engineer, dude. I'm an engineer. It's okay. I'll, I'll just take all the parts. No? Fine. Have it your way. Uh, nothing around here. Uh, is that a box? No, I can't touch it or anything like that. Random back alleys. 
lots of houses I can't go in. I don't think I can actually go in any of the houses that I've seen so far. You have a quest! What do you what do you, what's your quest? Have you got any yolkless flame my eggs? They make the best omelettes. I want to make one for my girl. I think you can bring me one. Oh, go on then. Can you tell me where I can find them though? Uh, flame eye around here. All right. Building up our quest log, and then we can go ahead and do them all in one go, as as is the most efficient way in any situation like this. Tranquil Square. I'll, I'm getting. I seem to be getting experience every time I find like places like this that have things on the map. This is Tranquil Square. It looks pretty tranquil. At the moment, that's pretty much how I would describe it. It is a tranquil square. Uh, people... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not being very well rewarded for exploring these back alleys, I've got to be say. So I should probably stop doing that. Uh, although, part of, partly I can't help it. <laughs> it's just like... You know that the one back alley I don't search is going to have stuff in. Like, see, it would it would probably have been this one. I found a key. Who is missing a key? Red items appear to be quest items. So somebody is going to ask me about their key. And I'm going to say, Oh, -ho! I have found a key. It was over there. And then they're going to go, oh my god, you found my key! You are awesome! And that is awesome. Uh, I've turned it to ramble mode now, but it's the kind of ramble mode where I keep saying things and talking really slowly. Daytime! <laughs> um, yeah, there seems to be nothing in any of these back alleys. So, but I'm still going to be searching every one of them. That's <coughs> at one point I might decide to cut some of this exploration out, but for now at least I want to keep it in just to show just how vast these towns actually are, because <laughs> it really is like a really big town. Like I'm really impressed with the size of the world on this game so far. Oh, uh, the way I play RPGs is so. Terribly time consuming. <laughs> uh, must find all the things. Hey, how are you? Ever been to Outlook Park? Did friends know you have to go up really high to get there? If friends brave enough, friends could try diving from up there. Outlook Park, where could. Is that that up there, maybe? Or oh, somewhere else? I'm sure it'll come up as a landmark when we actually find it, but. Uh, is it morning? Because I want to go see if that old woman was there. Because you know the old woman that someone told me about. Oh, was it? Wait, I just think I saw a quest. I think I saw a quest. I think I saw a quest. I see a quest. You. Well? You look like you need to get into your house. Oh, okay. You don't need a key. Ah. Collect a giant hornet in Colin Nine. Uh, do you know how I can find a giant hornet in Colony 9? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm looking for a giant hornet. <laughs> oh man, there's like so many places to explore. You, you look like you need a key. No? Okay. I guess you don't need a key. That's fine. Like, I see if I can. Do whatever you want and... Yeah, there's loads more like NPCs around in the day. Ah, oh, that means there might be more quest NPCs around. They, that means I have to basically explore the whole town in the day as well. Cause like that, I'm pretty sure that guy, the, the, the guy on the map now. Oh, there's a freaking market here now. Oh my god, the day and night cycles are so freaking. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, actually. I mean, I feel... No, it is a freaking good thing, but... Well. This is going to take years, this LP. <laughs> Could you get me some kind of glowing rocks? Two rainbow zirconias. I think I have one of those, question? Possibly. Well. I think I have one, but I'm going to need another. Why is everyone telling me about my affinity? I know about affinities now. 
so yeah, this... Ah, oh, you weren't there either. That's awesome. This is a long game. <laughs> okay, so he's got a problem. His back's playing up. He needs medicinal brog oil. Ah, oh, so many things to collect. So many things to collect. I hope I'm not going to remember all this. I'll also look through my quest log later. Look, there's another one over. Th there's another quest over there. It's freaking. Is there another quest over there? Yes, there is. It's here. Do you need your key by any chance? Where's my shiny treasure? Is it a key? You want shiny treasure? Oh no, it's a blue glass bead, okay. He left it around residential district somewhere? Really? Because I've not seen a blue ball. Unless the blue ball only appears in the day, which would be even more annoying. Oh my god. I'm... I don't think this LP is going to end. We'll be on episode 100 by the time we leave this town. <laughs> so, is this a ladder I can climb? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, he said he thought he left it around residential districts, and this is residential district, so... I'm just going to have a quick another look around. Oh, possibly the bug will also only appear in day. That would... Right. <laughs> okay, I need a plan of attack. I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one quick last look round... Fit round this place. Okay, you have a name. Why do you have a name? It's my sister's job to patrol. It's my job to stare up at the sky. You have a name. And... It wants me to check something. Is this my affinity? Okay, this is my affinity. Are these people in the town? What, what? These are people in the town. Ah. <laughs> this game's so involved. It really is. I know I'm just going over the same place over and over again, and I'm, I understand that there's very little entertainment value in this. But just for now, I really want to capture just... Why is this exclamation mark red? Just how... Why is this exclamation mark red? Is there someone around here? No, are you on the roof or something? That's possible, I guess. Or maybe he's underneath. Oh no, he's over there. Hi! You! What? Search quest 2. A resident has lost something important that helps her sleep tonight. Find the thing she lost. Oh hey, I got, my I got a blue glass bead. What's this? What is this? Uh, terrible camera angle. So, so now they're hiding things behind boxes and stuff. That's just not... Oh man! <laughs> Right, I'm going to return this blue glass bead. Oh, what are you now? Seriously? You want a friend? Really? You got a problem. You want to be friends with Lucas, so I need to find Lucas. Persuade him to be your friend. My god. <laughs> uh, where's that guy that I... Is it you that was looking for the blue glass bead? No. I thought it was. I thought it was you. I, th I really thought it was you. Absolute and total confusion. <laughs> oh, I've just basically spent the entire day just running around the residential sector. Oh. Look how many people there are around here now. Betty! I remember hearing your name. Um, Hello. I. I am overwhelmed. I'm just gonna go off and have a quick look back in the other part of town. 
because I think maybe there might be a couple more NPCs there. And who are you? You're just a resident. I'm not. I don't want to talk to you if you're not going to give me a quest because you'll just end up confusing me. Someone called Lucas. Are you called Lucas? No. It was a Hon. He said it was a Hon called Lucas. So. Wow. They are. They are. They're actually walking around town now. <laughs> That's so. This is so so weird. It actually feels like a proper open world. I'm, I can I can genuinely say I feel immersed in this so far. Uh, do you know where to find Vang Teeth? No. But you need me to find them for you, so okay. I accept this quest. I really hope there's not like a limited amount of quests or anything. There's some hand bunnets just outside the general the, the thingy thing. It would be very dangerous if they got in It would be very dangerous if those bunnies got inside the colony. Oh no! Whatever would we do if there were bunnies in here? Uh, wait, do you have another quest for me? You have another quest. Go and pummel some beach crabbles. Okay, so you're the guy that's giving me all the quests to go kill everything. Fine. And you have another quest for me. Uh, you got a tactile with Tefra Cave. Wood bunnies, so you want to, me to go kill some more bunnies. bunnies. Fine. Do you have another quest for me? Yes! Oh, light skeeters! Okay, you need to me to kill uh, some light skeeters. Anything else you'd like me to do for you? No. Alright. That's fine. Are there any more things? Any more people with quests or anything? No. Around here maybe? Possibly no. Okay. <sighs> we must have like probably about 20 quests now. And I don't have a clue how to do any of them. You're a silly fool. You've lost something you really need. What is it? It's a key! I've got a key! Yay! I will gladly give you your key back. And that's the end of that quest. Woohoo! It feels good to do a quest in this game. It feels like I'm actually making progress. Even though I'm really not. Do you have a quest? Verdant blushes on the beach. Isn't that the thing that killed me? I thought I thought that was the thing, the name of the thing that killed me. A gigantic monster that looks hard to defeat. Yeah, I thought that was the thing that killed me. Oh uh, well. You, Markra. Your grandsons are having quite the altercation, and now to get the upper hand, they are both in training. Uh, okay. So you, you, you want me to take some biscuits to your grandson. Right. Okay, I'll gladly go take some biscuits to your grandson. After doing all these quests, these, the people of this town had better freaking revere me as their god. I've just been wandering around this town for about an hour now. And I just, I, I still don't feel like I, like I, I've got everything there is to get. I'm so dead. <laughs> I still just still don't feel like I've got everything there is to get. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly, because I'm probably going to have to cut out the vast majority of that, because it was just me running around going, oh my god, there's so much, oh my god, this is so massive, oh my god, this is so much, oh my god, this is so massive. Uh, but that's all I have to say about this, because it's so weird. So let's just... Quickly go through my quest log and look at all the quests that I've found. Uh, which part is this one? And then quest log. Like seriously, look at all these quests I've got. And I've done like three of them. Search quests one, two and three. That's like, finding a wedding ring. I got that. Uh, finding a blue glass bead. I've done that. And finding a key. I've done that. Uh, like, look, I've, I'm, I'm missing challenge one, material quest one, collection quest one and two, and yet they took me an hour of wandering around because, like, there's a day and night cycle and there are, like, different NPCs depending on day and night and morning and evening and... <laughs> and the place is just massive as it is. 
I... I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Very overwhelmed. I, wait, this is the thing with the big thing on, isn't it? I don't want to come back here. I really don't want to come back here. But it's okay because he's not here right now. Uh, but I think it was anti-air battery 3 that he was on. Okay. Uh, can I, I think I can dive in. I'm going to dive in. Whee! This is going to kill me. Or not. In reality, water tension would probably have killed me then. <laughs> but okay, I'm willing to suspend disbelief to... Oh my god, look how massive the environment is! To experience not dying. Just going to have a swim around for a bit, pick up some items. So in terms of actual quests, because this is going to take freaking forever. I've not even moved on to the next part of the game yet at all. The key to a long life. We need to collect two lots of medicinal brog oil. We need to take some biscuits to someone in the residential district. We need to find a guy called Lucas, who is a guy who is a, like a child, I guess. We need to fix a watch in my lab. We need to kill some hand bunnets. We need to kill some beach crabbles. We need to kill some wood bunnets. We need to kill some light skeeters. We need to uh, eliminate Verdant's Blush Owl, which I think is the enemy that actually killed me. <laughs> so that's not going to be done for a while. We need to collect a small scale from something. Uh, two Vang Teeth. Uh, Yokeless Flammy Leg thingy. Two Rainbow Zirconias. Uh, giant Hornet. This is just silly now. <laughs> this is just... This game... Seriously, the amount of stuff this game has is going to just keep me amused for many, many, many hours and hundreds of episodes of this LP. So, uh, I really do want to keep in as much exploration as I can, but really I don't think it would be that entertaining to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just going to spend a l couple of minutes just wandering around getting these. I'm actually going to head towards the beach over there. Because I believe I'm supposed to kill some beach crabbits. So that's the first quest we're going to do. Let's kill some beach crabbits. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I'm, I'm on my own now, so, but still, it just still shouldn't be too hard. I've also found like affinity things. I need to get the hang of this affinity thing because it's that thing, isn't it? Heart to heart. So I don't have heart to heart. But if I look at my affinity chart, uh, I can see. Look, like, look over here. Look how many freaking. Kenny's biggest fan. A strain. Oh, so you can actually see the times that they're active. And look how weird these times are. Like, 6 to 6, 6 to 6, 6 to 6, 9 to 6, uh, 6 to 3 in the evening, th 9 to 6, it's like 6 to 3 in the morning. They're all so weird. So very, very weird. And... <laughs> I'm overwhelmed like crazy with just how how many things there are <laughs> and I'm not even like on the storyline or anything if I look at my party okay my party don't seem to like each other so that's fine anyway let's play some crabbles I don't think I'll be playing for too much longer today because I don't exactly have a great amount of time and I've just spent like an hour and a bit exploring a town but let's just head over here and kill some crabbles just to finish off the day. Finish off the day on actually completing a quest would be very nice. See if we can find some... I think I can remember the names of all the things I need to kill. At least I think I recognise the names of anything that I need to kill. You are a crabble, right? 
you are a crabble. I'm going to backslash you. Oh, I'm going to come in. I'm going to come come at you from behind. Ready? 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 Wapa! Yeah, we're expecting that now, were you? I can't use slit edge because I can't attack from the side. Uh, I can use that, which apparently breaks you. I don't know. Don't know what break does. Usually, it means it like stops them from using abilities for a short amount of time. Okay. So I got a crabble shell. I need to kill three of those. So let's just kill three of those. At least the at least the quests don't seem to be that big. Uh, you're a crabble. I'm just going to use as many abilities as I possibly can. I don't really have many abilities. Like those two, I can only use um, at the start of combat. Uh, no real need to heal. I might as well heal, you know, just because I can. <laughs> but apart from that, let's pick up the treasure chest. Got a small shell, that's fine. And then if I kill you, I should have finished a quest. Please break on you. Yeah, usually, break usually cancels whatever ability they're currently casting or what they're using or whatever. Yeah. Actually, I think I might just keep this recording intact, just to show how bleh, this world is. <laughs> uh, completed a quest. Okay. Wait, do I, do I get my experience for that instantly? Do I not have to take it back to the guy and turn it in or something? That's, that would be pretty neat. So let's get some more items. Got a dragonfly, got another thing. You are a beach crabble. I don't need beach crabbles anymore. So I'm going to just run around this place for a bit and see if I... Do I need you? Praying Caterpillar. I don't think I need you. Plate Snow. What's that? That I just picked up. Oh, Moonflower. Um, what are you? You're a cute brog. Oh, hey. Oh, you're you're an aggressive cute brog. Cute brog. Yeah, that's, there's nothing cute about you. So some enemies are actually aggressive. That's neat. In that, um, in that I don't always have to initiate combat, and apparently I can just back up, and you will never be able to hit me. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I could probably. This isn't going well. Oh, maybe not. Okay, uh, let's heal. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the, those attacks do anything more than my auto attack. Oh, uh -oh I'm so dead. We can definitely do this. Come on. Aww. Go on. Okay, I think I seem to have a little problem with combat at the moment, so I'll need to get that sorted ish. And I think I'm gonna end this recording here. I think I'm supposed to be going that way. But before I go that way, I've got a load of quests that I wanna do. So I'm going to try and do as many of those as I possibly can. And we'll see. We'll we'll try. So next time, we'll try and do some more quests here. Um, and hopefully, <laughs> we'll actually see an end to the quests here, and maybe see as many people as I can. I actually feel like this is an actual world. I've I've, I've never really felt that about a game before, but the way that this is kind of always changing and always different, it's just. At least for now, until I figure out the mechanics of this game. It's just so refreshing to see that in an RPG. I think this is a really good game, and I think this is going to be really fun. If perhaps not always the best to watch because of exploration and things, but... Man. <laughs> man. Let's see if I can save. Can I save? Cedric said I can save at any time, so yes I can, I can just press the save button. And save game data. Does it have like a percentage of how much I've done? No it doesn't. I'm level 5 already. <laughs> I've not, I've not, I wouldn't say I've been particularly killing anything or doing any quests or anything, so... Ah, oh, this is going to be crazy. See you next time, folks! For more craziness as we try and complete more quests in 
Colony 9! That menu was in the way then. Okay. See you next time, folks!